Hi, I'm Chuck and you're watching Are We There Yet? In our last episode we had a terrific stay at Humbug Mountain State Park and after that we continued north. For a while the road heads inland for portions peeking out to the ocean at various points. Just south of Reedsport, Oregon where the Umpqua River meets the ocean sits huge sand dunes, a dune buggier's paradise. And Salmon Harbor at Winchester Bay. There are two fairly nice and fairly expensive camping sites there, but there's also two small county park campsites, both called Windy Cove, A and B. Very original. We snagged a site at one of them and it allowed us to explore the area around the bay. It's all because of you I'm seeing everything You make me want to celebrate 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 tonight When I was coming back I saw what looked like a trail going off across the street So I went over there it was a campsite that was just set up for hikers and bikers, you know, cyclists mm -hmm. that were just, so that, so if they went up that little road, they were just little tent, you know, little tent places. Yeah. Like a picture that I've painted in my wildest dreams Came to life in every feeling that you gave to me found a story that we saw every moment is a song Lincoln City is farther north and is a favorite spot with people from the Portland area for vacationing as it's a fairly easy couple hour drive. Right in the middle of this small city lies Devil's Lake State Park, which has a very rural feel to it. We were able to only book one night because the place is so popular. It's horizon, it's shining, seems the daylight no this is our time now Where we're going These dreams we're holding Oh, and now we know it All the world is ours to take You and me will find a way Oh, the wonder that awaits Here we are, forever stars today headed inland to visit some friends but couldn't help but visit our favorite breakfast spot in McMinnville the Wildwood Cafe French toast to die for McMinnville also has a terrific air and space museum which is also a harvest host location there's so much to see and do at the Evergreen Museum but the highlight is Howard Hughes's mammoth wooden plane 
called the Spruce Goose. Dubbed the Flying Boat, the Spruce Goose has a 320 foot wingspan and its massive floats allow it to land on water. It was originally envisioned as part of a fleet of flying boats that would potentially deliver cargo and troops over the heads of U-boats during World War II. The Spruce Goose was built in 1947 by Hughes with 18 million in federal funds. Hughes, who of course was an oil and film industry mogul, also spent seven million of his own money on the endeavor. The plane was made almost entirely of birch wood, a material that wasn't crucial to the war effort. Hughes only flew the plane once, November 2nd, 1947 in a mile-long test flight over California's Long Beach Harbor. Hughes then stored the aircraft in a special hangar and never flew it again. Ironically, I'm from Southern California, and although I saw the hangar from a distance, I never took the time to visit until I went to McMinnville. Our friends Milton Shirley took us on a very picturesque drive to Silver Falls State Park, where we hiked along the top edge of the canyon. We decided to continue north to Washington State. We have friends on Bainbridge Island. About halfway there, we stayed at a boondockers welcome site. Now this cattle ranch or farm in Grand Mound is located near Centralia, Washington. Now there's a few places to camp depending on the size of your rig and the owner offers hookups for a small charge. We parked at the bottom of the pasture below his home and was entertained by his very friendly dog as well as his bull. There are a couple of seemingly endless dirt roads you can walk and when we were there, they were bordered by some of the best wild blackberries I've ever eaten. You do get some freeway and train noise during the night, but it's just background to a really beautiful spot. The next day we arrived at our friends. Bainbridge Island is a short ferry ride from Seattle, but it is a world different from Seattle. There is some public land set aside in the center of the island called the Grand Forest. It is amazing. I biked through it a couple times. I half expected to run into a gingerbread house and two kids named Hansel and Gretel. Thanks for joining us on this portion of our journey. In our next episode, we head east across the Rocky Mountains and Wesley Bonds with some alpacas. Please consider liking this episode and subscribing to our channel. We're trying to build a community and you liking the episode allows more like-minded folks to become aware of our channel. Also, any comments are appreciated. Until next time, this is Chuck for Karen and Wesley saying, Happy Travels! <laughs>